Okay, um, audio log two, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's only the second time doing this, but um, yeah, it's hopefully the batteries in this thing don't run out. Um, okay, okay, next, next story. Okay, okay, so I remember this this one particular event where um, Hello? this is actually a very eventful night. I um, I was near the northwest <laughs> airfield, and I was in the Actually, I was the next. I was actually in the town near the northwest airfield, and I could just hear all these gunshots going up in the distance. And I um, it was actually a lot of gunshots. So I uh, I went to go investigate to see if uh, someone needed assistance. However, I was a. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was I was hesitant. You know, because uh, people are desperate. I mean, food and water aren't exactly the uh, easiest thing to come by nowadays. So. I can tell from experience that, uh, well, people just prefer to rob rather than actually go looking for supplies, so, um, yeah, so, I, I ran to the Northwest Airfield, I was just following the gunshots, and I, um, came across these, uh, these, uh, two other survivors who, um, had actually, uh, had a horde, uh, actually, uh, just fought off a horde, they, um, one of them was called, uh, I say, the other one was called, I believe, was uh, Johnny Susuke. They were the names they gave me. We um, I mean, we uh, were just outside the Northwest Airfield, and um, we were trying to shoot down an animal for some food, but uh, a zombie horde approached us from behind. <laughs> this is why I don't shoot at people because if I ever had to defend myself, I would die. <laughs> I am pretty sure you will miss even up at point point plane plank range. Oh, watch it a couple times. Oh shoot, I almost got you in the butt. I told you that gun wake up dead. <sighs> so after taking out that little oh, small yeah, hole of zombies, we uh, decided <laughs> oh, to head to the next town and do some scavenging. The getting in a town and scavenging for supplies, that was the easy part. However, on the way out, we uh, we encountered some problems and we encountered a Another small horde of zombies, which uh, proved to be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I think it's in their best interest to run. I ran out of bullets from my M4. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This thing. Can you? Scary. 
Well then, uh, I learned a very valuable lesson today. Never shoot this gun. <laughs> Never shoot it in the town, you mean. After that, we uh, Googly -moogly. decided to head towards Star and do some scavenging. However, you know, I save a lot longer after that, we uh, decided it was best to all go our separate ways. So, I figured it was time to head back to the training post, so I'd been there for a while. However, I while I was there, the um, uh, artillery so gun is outside of the trade post started going off, which naturally, after the war with the council, everyone in the uh, outpost kind of freaked out. I'm going back and having look. Uh, so when they went to investigate, I uh, warned them that it may simply be a trap in order to draw us out. However, it just wasn't. Someone had just managed to get access to it and was shooting it off in distance. Uh, can we suicide? Let me go uh, so after we, we went and investigated, we uh, went back inside the train post in which we talked to the CTC guard in order to inform him. He uh, didn't really say thank you, but instead uh, threatened to kill anyone who had managed to use it. No thank you or nothing, but, you know, I don't know. I suppose we're going to be grateful at least that uh, they even had the train post open for the survivors to use, so got to be grateful for something. However, while I was there, I encountered two other survivors. Uh, one of them was uh, Ricky Holberg, I believe. The other gentleman, he uh, didn't really give me his name, I think. But um, we saw a light off in the distance and uh, went to investigate. And uh, what happened next, I'm uh, not too particularly proud of. Campfire. Do we want to go check it out? Yeah. Hello? Get out of there. This poor woman was getting robbed, and I wasn't sure what was happening. Uh, I got separated from my uh, two, my, the people I just met. So what did I do? I got up and I fucking ran. I fucking bolted, like my life depended on it, which it probably did. But I, uh, I felt really guilty. I, um, I mean, I've been in that woman's situation before. I got robbed and uh. I know that, uh, I mean, we all just simply left her, like, I didn't even go back to check to see if she was alright, I mean, who does that? It, uh, I still question whether that uh, woman made out of it alive or not, it kind of haunts me too, even to this day. Unsure of where my, uh, of where my friends went, I, uh, decided that the best, ch best bet was to continue on and uh, head towards the southwest airfield, which uh, I guess it's lucky I did, Hello. as I managed to run into my friends yeah, in the well, trade post, boy. as well as uh, another survivor who uh, told me his name was Gary Walker. Do I? They sound, you sound familiar, but I think it's uh, my, uh, new in Australia. Fair enough. Yeah, they were just starting to aim at us, and we just backed away. Found me. What found me? Um, sometimes we can get up north. Shit. Uh, zombie is, um, no, zombie, sorry, it's person with B-17. He's rubbing him. Whoa, he's firing. Jesus. Who's that firing? Oh, is that the Euro that went by? Yeah, yeah, the Euro was B-17. Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. They got the stairs. I'll, I'll... So while we waited in this tower, um, the gentleman whose name I can't remember, he 
You disappeared, he uh, went off in the tree line. However, while we were there, we uh, realized that the truck contained the B-17 members who apparently robbed that uh, female before we were driving up and down the airfield, in which we believe they were looking for us, maybe due to seeing our flares from before. So uh, we uh, stayed low for a while, and uh, when we had the first chance, we got the hell out of there. With Ricky needing some medical supplies, we uh, decided to head to the military compound just outside of the airfield. We knew that uh, the B-17 members were still in the area, so I suggested that uh, I would go in alone in order to look for the, the supplies that uh, we were in need of. But, um, okay. However, uh, things didn't go according to plan. As I made my way through the uh, army barracks, I... Um, I, I was hearing gunshots not too far. I knew that wasn't coming from Ricky or Gary, so uh, it really, to be honest, I was absolutely shit scared. Walk around this uh, zombie infested compound with uh, bandits in the area, it's, uh, it was really scary. On the way back to the meeting point, I realized that uh, Gary and Ricky, they weren't there anymore. I uh, wandered around for a while. We were retracing my steps, wondering if they had to possibly pull back. But, um, I realized that they had actually gone to the military camp looking for me. Uh, <laughs> which, uh, when we went through the military camp, realized that, uh, there was nothing that, uh, really nothing that we needed from there. We decided to check the hospitals over in Chernogos. Which, uh, again, turned out to be an eventful time.
some team I have to lift that would have to lift. Unable to find our medical supplies we needed, we are debated on what to do next. Gary suggested going to the other hospital and where the gunshots were going from, however, Ricky suggested trying the uh, heading towards Electra and possibly finding the supplies we needed there and finding the train track lines in order to get there. I uh, I decided that uh, I agreed to Gary that we should at least check to see what's happening at the other hospital and if not head towards uh, Electra then. Unsure of how many there were, considering three had already been spotted so far, we decided that our best bet was to uh, simply pull back, mainly due to the fact that if we didn't have enough medical supplies, enough as it is, I taking any know. more injuries at the moment could prove to be fatal. No, I can't see a thing, man. That zombie just fired me. On the way to Electro, we are uh, fortunately attracted a no, small hold of zombies, which there. with Ricky already injured didn't really help when they are. Uh, he got hit a couple of times. The situation was getting pretty bad. Ricky was passing out from loss of blood. We uh, quickly made our way inside the barn, in which we uh, encountered the other survivor who helped us take out the zombie horde, which I was grateful for. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's up behind you, guy? Behind you. Thanks, man. Listen, man, I don't need to worry about them mother truckers, man. Let me tell you right now, man, I'm cool with those cats. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? We get along just fine. I did some time back in Pelican Bay, man. I'm up in Oakland, you know what I'm saying? So let me tell you, one prison to another, man, I know how it is. But just because I'm friends with them don't mean I'm going to, you know, obviously do some harm and shit. So let me tell you right now, our best bet is probably get into that fucking island, man, and tell him that fucking, tell your boy over here to fucking stop fishing for some fish, you know what I mean? I need food, so I think we should probably get there, get him, you know, energized up and whatnot, and then carry on. Oh, fuck. I was scared. I thought we might be walking into an ambush going to this island. With this other guy telling us that he was friends with the B-17, the same group who were... Robbed that woman earlier, yep. but with Ricky in such bad shape, really didn't have much choice. Need a drink as well. Man, how After making it to the island, man? our new friend oh, asked us yeah, how Ricky slide. got in such a bad shape. When I told him medical that we were yeah. simply scavenging free supplies free and to give out to um, other survivors, yeah, like the free medics, he uh, well, he didn't react too well to hey, that. That's what it that's what got you almost killed, man. You gotta be more careful than that shit, man. You can't be doing shit for free stuff, especially for the fucking free medics, man. Let me tell you something, man. Those motherfuckers are a bunch of fucking cowards and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I fucking asked them for help one day. Nah, nah, man. You can't do shit, man. Why? Because obviously you're a fucking friend of the block. Blah, blah, blah. 
Man, fuck those pussies, man. Hate them both. Hate them both. Them in the fucking defense squad. Bunch of fucking thugs and shit. So after making it to the island, we uh, couldn't find the medical assistance we needed, but uh, decided to do some fishing instead in order to get together some food. I think this is a good spot to end the audio log.